been snake oil selling on Fox News and Fox News Radio for months before he was brought to the White House to apparently turn this into our new U.S. policy. And if the president really wants to pursue that, some sort of effort to protect those most at risk, but most people encouraged to become infected, if we are now pursuing that, which is what this doctor has been publicly advocating, which is apparently what the president is now telling us he wants, it's good for him to start to let us know if this is how he wants us to change tack here, because we should brace ourselves for what this means if this is what he's going to do. As the Washington Post points out this week, nobody knows if immunity even works the way that these herd immunity, herd immunity theorists believe for COVID. Nobody really knows how much immunity is conveyed by being infected with COVID. Nobody also knows how much of the population you have to, have to actually infect for it to take hold. But if you take these folks at their word, and again, this is sort of seen as kind of a crank approach to this subject, but if you take them at their word and you take a kind of conservative estimate about what it would take, if you conservatively estimate that they'd need, let's say 65% of the whole population to be infected for this herd immunity idea to work, well, in the United States, with a population of 328 million people, if you reached a 65% threshold for herd immunity, if you let 65% of the country get infected, if you had a, conservatively speaking, 1% fatality rate, that would mean that you'd have 2.13 million Americans dead. That's what they're aiming for. Those are the most conservative estimates about what something like this would look like, and that would be the good news result. 2.13 million dead. That's if we only have a 1% fatality rate. Could be millions more dead if the fatality rate is even slightly higher than that, if it's 2% or 3%. But they're aiming at those over 2 million dead Americans because a Fox News radiologist says so. And he's apparently outmaneuvered the other experts at the White House and has made this the new US policy. And this is reportedly why the CDC just recommended in the past week, all of a sudden, that fewer Americans should get tested. This doctor's theory and the fact that he's got the president's ear is reportedly why the CDC now says if you've been exposed, you shouldn't necessarily get tested. This new theory the president is spellbound by that says more infected Americans are better. The more people get infected, the better we are. So that means they want to test less people, even after you've been exposed. If you haven't been tested after you've been exposed, you don't know you're positive, then you're more likely to spread it to more other people. Under this theory, that's a good thing. The more people infected, the better. This is madness. And it has taken hold at the top of the US government. And the president is now propounding this as his big idea for how we should deal with COVID from here on out. And any Democrats or anybody else in the country that doesn't want this, that wants to stop people from getting infected. They're just trying to shut down your churches. They're just against God. They're just trying to lock you in your home for some sort of nefarious conspiracy. That's where we're at in coronavirus now, 60 days before this election.